Technique number 11 in the Kempo Karate for Christ Purple Belt Curriculum is flashing daggers. Now, um, when I talked about five swords, I mentioned that's probably going to be your favorite technique. That's certainly mine. Um, if five swords is the favorite, then uh, this flashing dagger is probably number two. Um, so in this level, we get uh, everybody's favorite and then everybody's second favorite, I think, uh, is, is flashing daggers. Once again, you've got a fast combination of hands. Um, shows up in several other places. Uh, it, it's utilized the parts of it in other techniques. Um, it's just a staple of the, uh, the coordination and the movements that make up what is uh, Kempo. So, um, this uh, technique, number 11, is off a of push. This is a two-hand high push, um, which I think is the most basic type of attack you're going to see. Back when we talked about uh, alternating maces, our first push attack, just technique number two in the whole system, uh, which was for a low push, we talked about probably the most uh, general attack when it comes to pushing is going to be somebody shoves high to the shoulders. And so now we're seeing that. Um, this would be the most, uh, of the push attacks, probably the most common. They shove and then, you know, come to a fighting stance and the fight starts. So um, we want to utilize right from the, the push itself, kind of launch into our combination here, our, our, our uh, sequence of uh, defense as well as the follow-ups. So as they're pushing high and they're pushing you back, we're going to go with that. All right, we're going to use that push, step back, we're going to step back with the right foot, right foot's going to come back, and we're going to use both an extended outward block with the right and the left. You want your hands to come up between their arms and split their arms out to the side. We're going to use this wedge idea that you saw in our um, Kung Fu form, first Kung Fu form, uh, Gong Gong Kyun, where we've got that, that wedge position here, fingers kind of pointing towards the eyes, and I'm splitting the force of that push as I fall back. So the push lands and shoves us back, but we clear the arms out to the side here, stepping back into our left side neutral bow. And then immediately after that, I'm going to keep this um, left hand up high, protecting the face, and it's going to be an inward thrusting sword hand strike. So once again, it's, it's like a palm strike, but in a sword hand position, and that's going underneath the left arm to the ribs for the opponent. And as soon as you hit there, it's like a rebound. It hits and as you pull back, we're going to forward bow, we pull back to neutral bow, there's an outward sword hand to the side of the neck there. So just the first two steps come back and we're thrusting low, or at least under the arms, and below your left arm. And then we're going to come out high to the side of the neck. From here we're going to, if the arms are in the way, you can smother down. Uh, from the split though, they shouldn't be. You shouldn't have your, their arms in the way. That shouldn't be a problem. But if they are there, you can smother down and move the arms out of the way. But I'm going to pivot and now punch over the arm. So we went under. We come out. Now we're going over the top of the arm. And my hands are going to stay on this kind of right side of my body the whole time here. Whereas the last technique, um, well, not the last, the, the uh, five swords was looking at moving your hands from one side of the body to the other. Uh, this one's going to keep all your, your weapons on one side. So I'm stung back here and I'm using, with flashing daggers, I'm using this wedge. I'm hit under the arm, come out to the throat, come down over the arm with this vertical punch to the sternum. And then the last move here, I'm going to continue. This hand stays up just in case to uh, protect yourself as I pivot back out to a neutral bow again. I'm forward bow, back to neutral bow with an outward sword hand strike low. And then from there, full cover out. Go straight back again to 6 o'clock. So the whole thing, we wedge, we come back, flashing daggers, goes under the arm, under your left arm, and a hit under their left arm, this is where the target is, out to the throat, we come over to the sternum with a punch, out to the abdomen, and then full cover out. Alright? And then you can speed that up again because this level is about speed. But again, you don't want to go so fast that you don't give time for them to be able to react. It's possible to do this, this too fast. So as you come back and wedge, that can happen pretty quickly, but the shot to the throat will cause them to arch back for the punch there. And then as they're coming forward, you can already be pivoting to hit low again there. So from the sternum shot, boom, into the abdomen, that can happen fast. Movements again go back. One, two, three, four. 
and out. Kind of be the timing of that. So that one's flashing daggers. Uh, practice that and, and enjoy that. I hope you enjoy that as much as I do. Uh, just that over, out, uh, or under, out, over, out again, and, and that pattern you find uh, shows up a lot. Um, kind of like the five swords pattern here of what we're doing with our, our hands.